So these questions have been haunting me. Ever since I finished university and the Kickstarter campaign for my game failed, I just keep asking myself, am I doing the right thing? Or should I give up? So let me set the scene. I've just finished my studies doing game design and development at university, and I'm finding myself at a crossroads. I have to literally find my place in this world now. And it's both exciting, but completely overwhelming. Let me just not knock my head off. So in hopes of finding that place, I launched a Kickstarter campaign, and I was filled with so much hope and joys. In the first hour, we were hitting over 2,000 pounds in donations, and it kept going up. But as time went on, the momentum waned, and ultimately, we didn't hit the goal. Before we dive deeper into this, I just wanted to remind you that the demo for Amber's Tale is available on Steam. So if you fancy giving it a go, please do. I'd love to hear what you think of it. And if it seems like your cup of tea, why not wishlist it? After the campaign ended, the reality of the fact we didn't hit the goal really hit hard. It was very disheartening. The journey approaching the start of the campaign was an absolute roller coaster ride. I was finishing uni, still going to work, and still putting in 10 hours a day, seven days a week on the game, as this demo served not only as a final submission for my university, but also as a potential to kickstart my career. During the campaign, I couldn't help but notice other projects skyrocketing. Games like Runefencer Ilya were getting tremendous amounts of success. And while I was incredibly happy for them, as it looks like an amazing game and I can't wait to play it, I couldn't help but question myself. What could I have done differently to be in their shoes, you know? It was a hectic mix of adoration and self-evaluation that was driving me to reevaluate my approach and learn from my mistakes and from their experience. Despite the challenges and moments of doubt, I realized that setbacks are part of the journey. They push us to find creative solutions and rediscover our passion. Witnessing the failure of my own campaign and the success of others made me realize there are so many opportunities to learn and a chance for growth. I had the honor to be featured on a Q&A live stream with Relia. It was at four o'clock in the morning here, so I was knackered, but what an opportunity. Yeah, so I've got Tom with me here, who is the, the developer. It was such a funny series of events. I was literally watching one of their videos and a notification popped up on my phone saying that he followed me. And it was just one of those out of body experiences. Like I'm watching you and you're watching me. But on that stream, I received a lot of invaluable feedback and support and it really helped motivate me. Additionally, I reached out to the creator of Haiku the Robot. That game is one of the main motivations and inspirations for Amber's Tale. And they got back to me backing the project and providing some much needed motivation. After the Kickstarter, I faced a challenging period where I had to balance not only the emotional turmoil of not knowing what I'm going to be doing, but I also had to finish all my university submissions. I took a much needed two month break. I stepped away from the project completely and went silent on social media. Probably wasn't the smartest thing to do, but the respite was much needed and it has really helped me recharge. Despite all these setbacks, I was nominated for some awards. I ventured to Bradford University for the Game Republic Student Showcase 2023. I got to show off two of my projects, Amber's Tale for one, and another one that you haven't seen, but for one of my projects at university, I worked alongside some programmers who were building their own game engine for the PlayStation, and we basically made a vampire survivors type game. I think talking about that needs a whole video for itself though. At the event, I spent a very long time networking and socializing and seeing what other peers from across the north of the country had managed to do. An experience like this isn't just something you forget. It was a great place to network with game studios across the country. And ultimately, Amber's Tale won the Pit Stop Productions Game Award for Game Audio. Shout out to the Millen Brothers. This incredible experience reignited my motivation to work on Amber's Tale. And I am also working on a separate project as well. I'm collaborating with two of the programmers I worked with on the Vampire Survivors game. And I'm really excited to see how the development of that game is gonna come along. And I can't wait to share some of it with you guys. But rest assured, Amber's Tale has not been forgotten. As I gather myself and prepare for the next big steps in my life, progress will continue on the game. I have learned so much in the last few months from working with other people and just developing my own skill set. If these past few months have taught me anything, it's that setbacks are just an opportunity for growth. They push us to find creative and intuitive solutions and will help reignite your passion 
Seeing so many other Kickstarter campaigns succeed has taught me some valuable lessons and inspired me to persevere. So let's chase our dreams and take on these challenges head on.